What's going on, y'all? Tech me out here, and in this video, we're gonna be talking about three pieces of smart home tech that I find myself using on a daily. Now, before we even begin this video, I first wanna give a big thank you to Home Depot for sponsoring it and supporting the channel, and in essence, expanding my smart home tech collection. Everything will be linked down below for you in case you wanna check it out. But the very first item I have that has made a drastic difference in my life is the Tile Mate. So what this has done is help my sometimes forgetful mind stay on track, especially when I'm juggling a lot. So this little item right here is perfect to keep track of items that I tend to lose. So what I've done is place this on various things that I don't wanna lose, like my suitcase. Now it really surprised me with how easy it was to set up, it only took seconds. All I had to do was download the Tile app, tap the plus symbol, select the device I'm trying to pair, and then place the device near my phone, and then it instantly connected. From here, I just selected the category of the item that I wanted it to be placed on. So, so far I have placed one of these in my book bag, cause I'm constantly changing that out. I've also placed one in my wallet, my luggage, and even in my coat. And I'm actually considering hooking these up to one of my umbrella necks because I'm always losing that. But ultimately, whatever I struggle in keeping up with is going to probably soon have a towel installed on it. Now, taking it back to the app, you can easily preview every item with a towel on it to see where it's located or where it was last. And when you select a specific item, you have even more options within there, such as seeing the location history. You can even tie it into a series shortcut, or you can set it so that you can share the location of a towel with a friend so that they can see where it is too. Now, battery life on each one of of these is also monitored so you know when it's time to recharge or replace one. Now of course there are other options within the app that you can use but these are just a few that I found myself using the most. And one that I really can't forget is the option to be notified if I happen to leave something behind. So this is going to be great when I'm traveling with camera gear and I have something like a pack of ND filters or a lens or something like that that I want to make sure I keep up with. So yeah I see this definitely being worth the investment and you can buy them in all different forms. I just happen to have this particular one. Now moving on to item number two that has changed the way that I do things things is the JBL link. So this is really just a quality Bluetooth speaker with Google Assistant built in. But where it continues to wow me and just make an impact on my life is the versatility and convenience of it. And I'm gonna tell you what I mean by that. But first, let's talk about it as a Bluetooth speaker. So I really love the fact that no matter which side of the speaker I'm on, I can enjoy awesome sound quality because it has a 360 speaker design. And with this, it'll deliver clear highs and mids with deep bass. Setting things up was fairly easy enough. All I had to do was head into the Google Home app and it instantly saw that a new device was on my network to be paired. But if it doesn't see that, then you can just hit the plus symbol. And then from there, it's gonna guide you pretty much through everything, you just answer the questions such as like, which room it's gonna be in. It only took me a couple of seconds to get this thing set up and going. And when I did, it just, yeah, it just took my smart home speaker setup to that next level. Because being that it has Google Assistant built into it, I could actually create a speaker group or smart home group amongst my other Google Assistant speakers so that when I summon my music to play on one, it can play on all of them. But where this one stands out from those is that this one is portable, so I don't have to leave it connected to the wall, which then means when I'm home, it fits into my you know, smart home ecosystem. But when I leave, I can easily take this off the dock and let it go with me and use it just as a regular Bluetooth speaker. So just like my other smart home speakers, I can say, okay, we'll go ahead. play some music. All right, music on Spotify, here you go. But for copyright reasons, we're not, we not gonna let it play. Okay, oh, okay. <laughs> pause. And you see there, you even get like these little LED notifications so that you know it's listening. But if you don't wanna use your voice, you do have touch controls along the top so you can adjust the volume from the top of the speaker or you can press and hold the little symbol here and that will pull up your Google Assistant as well. But this has spoiled me for the simple fact that it can control you know, all the smart home things within my house, but also go with me throughout the house. So I don't have to yell if it's in another room, I can just take it with me. And I can do things like use my voice to adjust my thermostat or control my lights, which is really helpful when I'm filming and it's too hot or too cold, or if I want to light a certain color, I can easily do that without ever having to touch my phone or the device in which I'm trying to control. Now moving on to item number three, we have my smart home thermostat. So the one that I use is by Sensi. I've actually had this thermostat for a while now and it's actually saved me so much in so many different ways. Firstly, it added 
like everything else, convenience. And it did that by allowing me to change the temperature within my home from just using my voice, which we did just talk about, or I can actually use my phone to control the thermostat as well. And then secondly, it gave me peace of mind because I'm able to check in and see what the temperature is at any time, which is especially important when I'm away from home. And I fear that I may have left the heat up too high as I then can just adjust it from my phone from anywhere in the world. I can also set routines so that my thermostat automatically adjusts to a certain temperature at different parts of the day. Now, I currently do have mine set to warm the house in the morning and then cool it at night. And I even have a vacation mode. So when I'm away, it's gonna maintain a low temperature. That way it's not warming an empty house. But I can always turn it up on my way back home so I can have things nice and cozy waiting for me. But just like everything else, setup wasn't too difficult, but it does require a bit of installation, which was a very well guided process via the app. Now, although I'm nowhere being anything like an electrician, I was able to install this and get it working without any issues. But yeah, ultimately these are three smart home pieces the tech that have just made a drastic difference and I felt were worth sharing with all of you to possibly change your life as well up into 2020. Now I do have some more smart home recommendations coming for you so definitely hit that subscribe button if you're interested in it as well as the like button if you enjoyed it and as always thanks for taking the time out to let me tech you out.